Blogger's peer-to-peer -peer networking video on how to add a network enunciator. While in the configuration software, open up your network setup, navigate to the panel you want to configure for a network enunciator, then choose LCD enunciator. Once you've chosen LCD enunciator, you can choose which enunciator you would like to make a network enunciator by clicking the drop-down box and then choose network enunciator. Whether it's the built-in keypad or whether it's a remote enunciator, either, as long as it's a 4x40 character display, can be a network enunciator. Once you've chosen that in the drop-down box, you can click the plus symbol, and now it's going to give you options to add a custom message for the network enunciator. Now it's just a matter of typing whatever message you would like to be portrayed on the front of the enunciator. You can also select which building you would like this enunciator to be associated with. I only have one building on my network currently, so I'm just going to check mark for building one. And then again, if I want for my second network enunciator, I can type in the same message if I would like. Now it's just a matter of downloading to the control panel and the new messages will appear on the enunciators. So once you've downloaded it to your network, now you can see your network enunciator with the new descriptions added. From here you can dive down to see what's happening within the control panels in that particular building. So if I press enter, if I press enter you'll see that it comes up with building one because I only have one building on my network. If I press enter again, now I'm going to get to say building one, all systems normal. Press enter again. Now it's going to get me to that main menu that you're accustomed with on all Potter control panels. So from here you can view history, enable, disable, go into programming. If we press one for view history, it's going to ask us what panel do we want to view the history on? And if we can press the up or down arrows to cursor to the different panels, and I'll go to panel number three. And again, now you'll see that that cursor is next to panel number three. Press enter. And now we're looking at panel number three's history just as if we're standing in front of the control panel itself. We can just keep cycling through this using the up and down arrows. Whether you're going to look for view history or whether you're looking to dive into the programming, the same functions are going to be available across the board. Once you are done with your selections, just press escape and keep pressing escape until you get all the way to the main splash screen. So now I see all buildings normal, science building, west wing. Thank you for watching this training video on how to program for network enunciators. For more information or question about peer-to-peer -peer networking with the Potter panels, please contact tech support at the phone number or email address shown on the screen. And as always, follow us on social media.